Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to remove AIPRM for ChatGPT. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, you might be wondering, how do you actually remove AIPRM here? Which in this case, there are two ways to do this. So I'll be showing you the temporary way and the permanent way here. So first things first is you need to open up your browser where you're using AIPRM on ChatGPT. So in my case, I'm actually using this on Google Chrome. So I just want to uh, give you some information here. The steps might be different depending on the browser that you're using right now, but the steps are actually pretty much the same. There are just certain or small variations to it. So in this case, uh, add your browser here, you need to look for your extensions icon. So typically it's going to be a puzzle piece icon, which typically when you open it, you have these uh, pop up here, which says extensions. Now we need to go to manage extensions here, but in some cases, if you don't see it, you can actually go to the tree dotted icon at the top right of your screen here and look for extensions again. And whenever you hover it, you have the manage extensions and the visit Chrome web store. Let's go choose manage extensions. Now, in this section, you need to look for AIPRM. Now, if you have a lot of ex extensions here, you can use the search extensions at the very top here and just type in AIPRM. So in this case, you should be able to look for it. Now, the temporary way of actually removing it or kind of removing it is by to basically just disable it. So whenever you disable this, so let's just disable this one. As you can see, I'm using AIPRM on my ChatGPT. So whenever I refresh ChatGPT here, it will no longer use AIPRM. Now, in some cases, if you want to remove this permanently, because whenever I turn this back on, that should start, or ChatGPT should start using it again, which in this case, if you don't want to do that, you need to do this the permanent way. Now, to do this permanently, you need to click on the remove button instead of disabling the switch here. So once you click on it, remove, click on remove again to confirm, and that should remove that. And whenever we actually reload ChatGPT here, it's going to be the ordinary ChatGPT here, not the AIPRM UI, which in this case, uh, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.